guys. Shh, shh. In 2002, Tom Cruise started Minority Report. He walks past a digital billboard, it senses him, measures his biometrics, and pops up an ad relevant just to him. That technology is here today. I'd like to do a little demonstration. Up on the screen you'll see a digital billboard. And it is coming when I'm doing the demonstration now. Back of house, demonstration please. Thank you. So that's our billboard. I'm walking over to the camera of that billboard, which is over here. And as I walk in front, it measures me, measures my biometrics, and pops up an ad relevant to my age and gender. I'm going to ask Mylan to do another demonstration. Again, it tracks her, measures her biometrics, and pops up an ad relevant for a young female. And I'd like to invite everyone here today to join us in the demo pit when you have a break sometime during the day to experience this for yourselves. Back to the presentation. <coughs> this technology powers every digital billboard on the AdVertex advertising exchange. Advertisers love it because now they can actually target an audience on digital billboards, just like they do with online advertising. The people who own the digital billboards love it too. It's really easy to get involved. All they do is put a camera on top of their billboard, download the software pack, and now they can access more of the $7 billion marketplace. Coca-Cola love it too. Through AdBitX, they access targeted third-party advertising on their new digital fridges that they're rolling out. And it's really easy to put a campaign out. We go to advertx.com, log in, give the campaign a name, assign the correct budget, and this is a really exciting piece. Now advertisers can target specific demographic particular to their message they want to connect with their audience. Um, we're going to put this campaign in the demo pit of launch 2013 for the duration. And all we do then is upload the creative. With one click, that pops up to the advertiser's dashboard. And in here is a wealth of information they can now use to <coughs> analyze and understand their digital billboard advertising. A feature they particularly like is they can drill down to a particular site and see the entire biometric analysis of everyone who's walked past that particular billboard. AdBitX makes digital billboards eight times more effective. This is the future. It's here now. My name's Chris. We're raising capital. Thank you. Judges, your thoughts? So obviously you're very dependent on the, the end devices and, and the adoption of those devices. Do you have any information about, about that adoption and, and how many of these there are out there? Okay. Uh, it's mainly the digital screen owners, so we're connecting to them to enrich our, our exchange. Um, they're very excited because basically they make more money this way. And how small do they go? I'm in New York, so every time you're in a small space, in a taxi cab or in an elevator now, you're getting served up ads. Do they make them that size? Yes. Um, any indoor environment, so malls, airports, transit centers, cabs, um, anywhere indoor, we can do this. So, your example is a little bit contrived. Someone walks up, stands face first, directly, holds position in front of the camera. Uh, what is it like in a real world environment? People are just zipping back and forth by, there's crowds of them, there's a bunch of them. I mean, what, what do you do? Yeah. Typically, these billboards are positioned in pinch points, so they do get people's <coughs> attention. So, we have a 10 meter distance by about 5 to 6 meters wide, and we can measure everyone in that area coming through. Um, busy New York train station where there might be 50,000 piling through at one time isn't the ideal situation, but most other public spaces we can control easily. Do you have billboards actually using your technology today so you can uh, share some metrics? Um, there's two sets of billboard networks being rolled out, one's with Coke and the other's with the large shopping center group, um, but we don't have the metrics back from that yet. How long have those been in the wild? 
Sorry? How, how many weeks or months have those been in the wild? Exactly. They're being delivered as we speak. So it, there, there's never, it's never actually existed in a commercial space. This is like from the lab going into the market as we speak. Yes. Wow. Okay. So uh, we're investors in a company that might be a competitor called Immersive Labs that came out of New York Techstars a couple of years ago that does face detection and age detection from some distance and then adjusts the advertising based on gender and age. Are you guys doing similar things, different things? I'm not sure. Part of what you said is we're managing a large um, bidding platform for display, and part of it was biometric detection. Adbidex is an exchange, so we're attracting all the billboards with that technology, and we supply that technology for them if they don't have it. But if they have immersive labs technology, that's fine. As long as they meet the data um, quality requirements, we can bring them into the exchange. But um, the sort of customization, what are you using to do that customization? Are you doing face detection from a distance or something else that's biometric? Uh, it's computer vision technology, that, yeah. so it's probably similar in terms of the biometric measurement. Right, so age and gender being the, the case, or like expression detection and doing some emotional targeting as well? Age and gender primarily. We right. can do expression, right. and there's also object recognition that will release in the future. Okay. What would be an example of object recognition? Uh, for example, if someone's wearing glasses, so an advertiser <coughs> who offers eye surgery may want to know that. What are other examples? That's interesting. Um, if they're carrying an umbrella um, to understand if it's raining outside. So really what we do is just bring as much data as possible together so advertisers can express their campaigns in a way that sees fit for them getting the results. Are you, are you also detecting whether they spend time looking at it so that you can get a sense of did they engage or not engage? Yes, we, we have dwell time measurement. Okay, and what's kind of the time frame on that? Between three to five seconds, typically. So that's why the ad has to pop so quickly. Okay, so you can detect pupil focus and then if they stay for longer than three to five seconds, you count that as an engage. Uh, we measure their facing the billboard. Okay, so yeah, right. not the actual eye. Cool. Uh, where are you getting the face and image recognition technology from? We've built our own, but we also assess all the other biometric measurement software out there to see whether it's of enough quality for us to work with. And do you feel that's the protectable part, or is the network that you're building, or what, what sustains your advantage or first mover or whatever your sign up is, you know, how do you protect somebody else from coming in and just commoditizing the thing? Yeah. Uh, having the network is one of the primary ways and also being the first market to do this en masse and provide a quality solution for advertisers. And can you talk a little bit more about the Coke deal? Um, not too much more. Okay. So um, I have a question about privacy because this is such a new technology, it's very cool. Um, do you understand what sort of rules or, you know, what's behind privacy because, you know, somebody taking an image of my face, do you store the image, you know, what, what sort of concerns have been raised about that and how do you address that? It is a very sensitive issue. Um, we store no unique data about anyone, so in a microsecond we pull some metadata um, and so no one's image is kept. And you measure engagement by the time someone's going to uh, face and look at the ad. Are you planning to have some kind of a QR code or a way to actually track engagement, meaning, you know, sort of a feedback loop? Yeah, in the future, we'll have, I guess, what we call the click. So for the way for them to act on the advertisement in front of them. And that may be from their field, a communication, touch, and so forth. Okay, uh, question from uh, Adeo on the grand jury. Uh, can I get my hand held up? How many, how many people can you scan at the same time in front of the camera? Uh, it's almost unlimited. It's uh, 20 very easily, and we can move up to 25, 30. Um, it depends how we calibrate it for the number of faces. So we assess every location and then calibrate it. This is a, a really interesting technology. I think when you pitched it, you, as an entrepreneur, if you could give us amazing examples, we can buy into it more. When you gave the um, example of the glasses, we really started to say, oh, that's interesting with the objects. 
what are your three absolute best secretive examples of this technology connecting, you know, and making marketing work extremely well? Well, the first is that basically there's no measurement in this industry that's used. No, no, that's not an example. I'm asking you for three specific examples. An example of something you can track that makes a marketing decision awesome. Not generalities, like the glasses is a specific. Okay, well at the moment we don't measure the glasses, we measure age and gender. So what we offer advertises the ability to put their ad in front of a female instead of the whole population. Okay, so you don't have any like killer examples other than the sort of like age and gender? Yes. You gotta get better examples, like that would really slam us off. Like age and gender is okay, but I think today, when you, really I watched the judges, when you said the glasses, people started to say, hmm. So as an entrepreneur, think of better examples like maybe the glasses plus the temperature outside plus the lighting conditions plus the number of how crowded it is. Something that makes us <coughs> realize that there's a journey we can go on with you that's going to get better and better and better. Okay, I can give you one more. Is it an example or a generality? It's an example. Let's hear it. Mobile data. Okay, expand. In integrating it with biometric billboards. So we know when someone's coming towards one of our billboards and what they've been looking at through their mobile data. So there's you, you a lot know of what I'm looking at on my mobile phone? There's a lot of work being done in the mobile area. It's not an area we're going to specialize in, but it's more data we can bring into the marketplace to provide value for our advertisers. Like maybe you know my, I'm a, I have an iPhone in my pocket, is that what you're saying? Correct. Versus an Android. Yes, exactly that. So that's an awesome example. So as an entrepreneur, just try to think of more of those when you present. Let's hear it for Ed <laughs>